I've heard the elite units are on the way to support our armies here. Hey there. You looking to buy or sell? Maybe. What do you want to know? Trade routes, my friend. Trade routes. Just about every major town in the wasteland has a Crimson Caravan branch in it. Out here, we usually split our caravans into smaller bands. That way, we don't lose everything if they get hit. It's not very efficient, though. But hopefully, we'll be able to start running larger caravans once things get civilized. A little place in the NCR called Oak Creek. Used to be a farming town until it got taken over by ranchers. I didn't want to herd Brahmin for a living, so I signed on with the Crimson Caravan and headed east. Not much to tell, really. Need anything else? Can do. See ya. Yeah, what is it? Thank you. This will keep us well stocked for a good long while. Both of them? Wow, that's very resourceful. Thank you. I think that should just about cover us. I really don't know how to thank you. Your bringing me these supplies saved a lot of people. Yeah, sure, I think I can spare a little. Here, and thanks again. When I got this assignment, I was hoping there'd be more gambling. Oh, hell. What is it now? I've been here since the first push into Vegas. Back in the day, this camp was the hotspot for conflicts with the Legion, Raider tribes, you name it. 
These days, I spend most of my time trying to beat a little discipline into the soldiers under my command. I've gotten soft with no action. Yeah, well, somebody has to wrangle those washouts and losers. Somebody's got to turn them into a real fighting force. Disappointed. We call them the misfits for a reason. They're undisciplined, lazy, and they have absolutely no esprit de corps. The squad leader's got some promise, kid named Mags. But as for the rest, I don't see much hope. I'm going to make them shape up if it kills me, though. Or them, for that matter. You're welcome to try. Hell, maybe they'll listen to somebody they don't see as an authority figure. Man, it's my life. I joined up when I was 16. I don't know how to do anything else. Yeah, well, I didn't want to get promoted out of the field. I didn't join up to drive a desk. Hey, you're a damn fine soldier, and word on the grapevine is that you're already some kind of hero. You got yourself a deal. Yeah, whatever. Y'all sure are a big old hero. I gotta write my mama and tell her I met you. To me? I'll tell you what I think this squad needs. A little more basic human niceness. That's right. Folks just don't talk to other folks. And everybody's always cross with each other. That'd be swell. Only if they knew the idea came from me, they probably wouldn't take you serious no more. So maybe you ought to think about it first. And I sure hope you're more convincing than I am, or they ain't gonna listen. Okay. They're mostly pretty nice. Poindexter showed me how to make fireworks. Raz kind of scares me sometimes, but I don't mind. He's had a hard life. Well, I was born on a farm out in California. Weren't much. Me, Ma, and Pa, my two sisters, and about 40 acres of corn and Brahmin. Didn't ever have no problems, really, except for some lean years. Then I joined up and got shipped out here to New Vegas. Oh, it's a fine place. The lake is real pretty, and we don't get bothered much by them Legion fellers. Well, as it turns out, we had a string of bad harvests a few years back. Pa said he couldn't afford to feed but three youngins or we'd starve. As the biggest one, it was my job to go join the army so as my sisters could eat and so as we wouldn't all be killed by raiders and Jesus would love us. It's all right, I guess. I don't like all the fighting we gotta do, though. I ain't scared. I just don't like hurting folks is all. Ma always used to tell me, boy, you're the biggest and the strongest, so you mind yourself. Every day she told me that. Guess I done took it to heart. Toodaloo. I'm assuming you aren't associated with the army or the rangers. What can I do for you? In a strictly official capacity, no. However, as I am by far the most intelligent and resourceful figure on this base, I feel it's safe to say the soldiers here look up to me. You're trying to appeal to my ego. I must admit it's an effective tactic. All right, I'll help. But only because I want to see if it's even possible. To what purpose? It's highly unlikely you'd understand anything I'd say. Suffice to say, I'm a certified genius, and when I'm discharged from this pit of testosterone and failure, I'll have all the money I could ever need. 
It's a simple idea. The army offers fiscal security and generous benefits at the cost of substantial personal risk, if you're on the front line. If you perform too poorly, they'll scrub you out. Perform too well, and you get sent to the front lines. All I have to do is ride that mediocrity gradient to a cushy, do-nothing job miles away from the war. And what do you propose? Hmm, an intriguing proposition. Company readiness reports are logged on the computer systems at the resort. If you hack the system, you could alter our records. Such an attempt, however, is likely to thwart efforts to motivate the squad to do actual work. If such is your goal, you should look elsewhere. As you wish. I'm sure the optimal solution will become apparent to you in time. I somehow suspect you'll be back to converse with me later. Hello? Ah, oh, shit. Here comes the brown noser. What you want? We don't talk too much, mostly. Poindexter's a smart-ass prick. Well, Hanrahan's a big pussy, ain't good for shit in a fight. And Mags? Well, Mags is cut out for something other than soldiering, you dig? Shit, maybe you're right. Guess I gotta give him a shot. Ain't much to tell. Grew up out west, in the boneyard. Heard of it? Yeah, not many people have. Wasn't really a good place for kids, you know? I joined up to get out. My family's still back there. What do you want to know? Whole place used to be some kind of rich bastard resort back before the war. Now the rangers use the old resort and we grunts get to live in tents. Fucking typical. Shit, honey, it was this or the fiends. The fiends don't last too long in the NCR. At least this way, the badasses with the top shelf guns are on my side. Like I said, you get the juice, we'll cut loose. Whatever. Right. Hey, I'm not supposed to know this, but I hear they're dispatching elite ranger units from California to deal with the Legion. Not much to tell, really. I grew up in New Reno, joined up, took my shot at being a ranger, didn't make it, so I'm stuck with this crew of jokers. Gee, I don't know. Maybe because I'm saddled with the worst damn unit in the NCR army. Think that might have something to do with it? Yeah. I mean, no. They're okay people, but they don't care, you know? They don't have any ambition, no drive. They're slacking off, and that reflects badly on me. You really think so? Hell, I guess it's worth a shot. Easy. This is where they send all the fuck-ups and people they don't want. But hey, it's not like I'm bitter or anything. I guess I wanted to make something of myself, you know? Be the best of the best. I wanted to be a ranger, but guess this is as close as I get. Sure, see you around. Hello? Patrol, y'all sure are a big ol' hero. I gotta write my mama and tell her I met you. Boy, the squad sure is working together a lot better now. I think we're gonna be A-OK. -okay. Toodaloo.
Something I can do for you? Yes, what is it? Well, you have been a great help here, and with the saboteur dealt with. Yes, I think we can spare a few men. Consider it done. Everything was going according to President Campbell's plan at first. We met minor resistance from local troublemakers. But our two main objectives are still contested. Mr. House controls the Strip, and he won't so much as meet with our ambassador. And we're holding Hoover Dam. But Caesar's Legion is positioning itself to overrun it. If it falls, so will New Vegas. We'd be forced to withdraw. Bye. already what do you need I'll be honest the Legion has me worried here but I think I can spare some soldiers consider your request granted are you ready excellent killing the Legion commanders and Nelson will severely cripple the Legion forces and allow us to take back the city meet up with sergeant Cooper just outside Nelson he will assist you in reclaiming Nelson. Controlling the Mojave almost makes you wish for a nuclear winner. I've heard of you. Glad to have you on our side. We don't have many troops, so we can only attack from one direction. Where should we focus the attack? East it is. Reports also say they might have some NCR hostages. If that's true, we need to do what we can to save them, so stay sharp. Our main target is the Legion leader at Nelson. Intel has the commander as one Dead Sea. I've uploaded his last known location to your pit boy. Let's move out!
Hey. We won't go quietly. The Legion can count on that. Howdy. What's the word? I have to admit, I didn't think you could do it. Guess that makes me the sap and you the hero. I'm not authorized to pay for contract work, but here's something for the effort. And I'll make sure everyone hears about what you did. Thanks. You're always welcome around the Hope Courier, at least as far as I'm concerned. I've heard that elite units are on their way to support our armies here. Back already? What do you need? The initial reports have come back already. Excellent work. This will buy us a lot of breathing room to get back on our feet here. Now we can actually try to strengthen our forces along the river and prepare for the upcoming battle at Hoover Dam. You have my thanks. We owe you a lot. Watch yourself out there. Here you defeated the Legion forces at Nelson. 
I'm impressed and thankful. It'll make my job around here much easier. Things are better now that the Legion at Nelson have been defeated. Until we meet again. Anything else I can do for you? Thanks to your help, I think Bitter Springs has a real shot at surviving. I can't offer much of a reward, but know that the NCR is very grateful. Here, take this. I hope you put it to good use. Are you here to jar at me a while longer, or are we ready to get this show on the road? Wait a minute, I recognize you. Yeah, you're Alice McLafferty's rising star, ain't you? You sure you want to be here? McLafferty's non-competes are pretty rigid. Are you now? You know we ain't coming back this way for a good long while now, right? And you know about the weight limit. I don't want no whining about old Mr. Masterson. I left my one-of-a-kind plasma cannon back at base. Can we go back for it? You sure you're ready now? Huh. I do believe you could. You ain't never been to Zion, have you? We'll be passing through a whole mess of narrow slot canyons and high rough passes. A big pack will get you wedged in like a super mutant crawling through a storm drain, and too much weight will kill you in the thin air. You sure about that this time? We ain't coming back for a while. Well, all right then. Let's get moving. We got a long road ahead of us. The paths we're following are slow going, so you might as well keep your ears open and listen to what old Jed has to say. A few decades back, folks in the NCR started to hear about a community in northern Utah called New Canaan. Didn't know much about them, except that they were religious folks, 
sent out missionaries to talk to the tribes. We've seen our share of cults, but the new Canaanites? They were honest traders. Good fighters, too. Raiders wouldn't tangle with them. But then, the Legion appeared in Arizona. I reckon you know all about them. Turns out Caesar's first war chief, the Malpace Legate, was a new Canaanite, Joshua Graham. Legend goes that Graham was the meanest, toughest son of a bitch in the whole damn Legion. The new Canaanites wouldn't talk about him. They were ashamed. Guess I can't blame them. Well, at Hoover Dam, the Malpace Legate finally met his match. Hanlon and Oliver kicked his new Canaanite butt right back over the river. Caesar had to make an example for the others, to show them that even at the highest level, failure wouldn't be tolerated. He had Graham covered in pitch, lit on fire, and thrown into the Grand Canyon. People say he didn't even scream on the way down. Not long after, some of the slaves and tribals started to talk, said Graham wasn't dead, Shouldn't have been any surprise. All this talk bothered Caesar. So he forbade anyone from speaking his name. Wanted to erase Joshua Graham from history. He got his wish. Joshua Graham disappeared. And in his place came legends of the burned man walking the wastes. Probably just a tribal ghost story. But New Canaan's been silent for a long time. Maybe it's a coincidence. Maybe the Malpace Legate is dead. Or maybe Joshua Graham did crawl out of that canyon and finally found his way back home. All right, people. Been a long couple of weeks, but here we are. Zion. I know your feet hurt. I know you're tired, but I need everyone's mind on the trail ahead. Ain't the trail ahead worries me, Jed. Those descents we made through that slot canyon back up there. Ain't no way we're getting back out the way we come. And then what? God damn it, Stella heard you the first time. And the 15th, too. The new Canaanites will know a way. And if they don't, we've got the maps on our friend's pit boy over there. Enough lollygagging. Get moving. And keep an eye out for tribals. Sorry to bother you with reality, old Jed. Who cares if we can't get back up the way we come? It's not a problem. Shh! Hold on now. I could swear I heard something up ahead. God damn it! Ambush! Cover people! Watch yourselves! 